The year was 35 AD in Jerusalem, and a young man named Saul was a witness and a facilitator to the stoning of Stephen, according to Acts 7, 58 and chapter 9, verse 1, for declaring that he saw the Son of Man, or Jesus, standing at God's right hand. A year or so later, Saul became the chief prosecutor of the early Christians, believing he was doing the will of Jehovah, chapter 23, verse 1 and 26, verse 9. It was determined to send Saul to Damascus to stop the spreading of the Jewish Christians into foreign lands, according to Acts 26:11. He beat, imprisoned, and put them to death, in Acts 22, verse 19. So Saul makes his trip down to the Jordan River. then up Jordan Valley to the Sea of Galilee. And climb the Golan Heights. and then a long march up to Damascus. En route to Damascus, he was stopped by an amazing encounter with the resurrected Jesus, which left him temporarily blinded, but convinced that Jesus was the Messiah. Saul was led to Damascus, where he was healed and stayed in the area for three years, going back and forth into the Arabian desert from about 37 to 40 AD, where he received special revelations directly from the resurrected Jesus, as described in Galatians 1, 17 to 18, and Acts 9, 8 through 22. Saul, or Paul's preaching in Damascus, provoked an attempt to kill him in Acts 9, 23, where he was let down from a basket over the wall, and he began his travel back to Jerusalem. This took him back to the Sea of Galilee, up the Jordan Valley, and then up nearly 3,000 foot climb from the Jordan Valley up to the city of Jerusalem. There he was for a brief two week visit according to Acts 9 verses 23 to 26 where he shared what Jesus had taught him with James and Peter. These ideas created quite a stir in Jerusalem such that the Jews attempted to kill him again in Acts 9 verse 29. Saul decided that the time was not right for his message, so he left for Caesarea on the Mediterranean coastline. And then sailed to Tarsus, his hometown. where he stayed for several years, estimated between 40 to 43 AD.